Since 2016, Uzi and Cardi have become one of my favorite duos in hip-hop, and that's because every song that they release together has been a slapper, from Of Course We Ghetto Flowers to Woke Up Like This, Shooter, Left Right, and so many more. I feel like they've really never missed together, and that's why the whole hip-hop community is craving to hear 1629, and that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today in this video, guys, is taking you through a timeline of events for all the news and updates that we've had for this 1629. 29 album from the amount of songs they have together to the official album announcement and so much more and then we'll get into the release date and our predictions for this album so at this point it's been teased for so long but do you still even want it absolutely i think that we have to hear how this is gonna sound because it's been teased for so long right and they've obviously taken some break you know a break from each other a couple of times when they said yeah you know i'm not really fucking with him and you know i can't really do music with him right now but i think right now it could happen i feel as if they're in very unique spots in their career and it would definitely be an interesting time to start this up but all right guys we're gonna take it back to the start of the timeline let's go to september of 2017 where playboy cardi got on snapchat and he actually said that they were going to be dropping a collab album called 1629 and this was massive news for the whole community especially at the time where you know cardi and uzi maybe didn't have the hype that they do now or didn't have the developed career that they did now and so many people were captivated into that new sound not only that but in october of 2017 the song that was supposed to be the lead single for um 1629 break the bank got leaked so do you think the leaks were actually a big part of you know delaying this whole process i think it's definitely a reason why we, we haven't gotten the album yet because there's been so many fucking leaks and i mean i'm not gonna lie i'm guilty i've listened to these leaks because i just couldn't help myself they're all fire um but going into what happened after this was we got an album tour announcement and then a cancellation right after in October of 2017 because they got on social media to announce that the 1629 tour was happening. It was going to have 18 different shows. It was going to have opening acts like G Herbo. So everything was looking confirmed. Everything was looking like it was going to be good and happening. And then 24 hours after um, they announced this tour, Uzi got on social media and called off the tour saying that he wasn't going to be on tour with Cardi and that he needed to focus. So... We didn't get any real insight, but a lot of people believe that if Break the Bank didn't leak, then they would have gone on tour and released the album because that was supposed to be like a major push for a lead single. So I don't know how much truth there is to that, but it's a big possibility. And speaking about 1629, it's a pretty interesting title just because um, it, re it represents where they're actually from. So Cardi came up in Atlanta's 2900 neighborhood and Uzi came up in Philly's 1600 neighborhood. So I thought that was a kind of a cool fact to see um, how they came up with the album title, but let's get on with the next fact. Absolutely. So let's fast forward to July of 2018, because between that time, there wasn't any real updates about the project or any sort of collaboration, but Playboy Cardi actually stated publicly that they have like a hundred songs together. So they also said that they've been making material since 2015 before they've all like before Playboy Cardi actually popped off. So how do you feel about that? Do you think that that would have translated into something good? Because 2018 was a very busy year for Cardi as well because he did he did drop his debut album Die Lit. So does the um, the timing of these albums that they're you know starting to drop kind of fuck with the whole sort of timeline? For I mean, them? I feel like 2018 would have been a perfect fucking time to drop it just because I mean you know you had Die Lit come out, you had Uzi who had gone viral after songs like. Exo Tour Life were really um, building a lot of steam. So I feel like it would have been a great time, but we started seeing after that feature on Shooter, which is officially their most recent collaboration, which was four years ago. They haven't made, you know, they haven't released any music together. So they kind of went their separate ways between 2019 and 2021. And during a Twitter QA, a fan had asked Uzi, you know, are you on good terms with Cardi? And he simply replied saying no. And he said that they were on different paths. So it was interesting to see, um, you know, what had happened between them. It was kind of sad, to be honest, because I'm like fuck bro are we never gonna get this album now are we never gonna get another legendary um you know collab from them but in early 2020 um they actually clarified that they weren't beefing well at least uzi had on his twitter and at that point everybody expected cardi to be featured on eternal take but that didn't end up happening and then once whole lot of red came out uzi was not on that track list either and People were kind of disappointed, but around that same time when, um, you know, Cardi released the song At Me as a single before Whole Lotta Red, Cardi actually replied to the artwork with the caption, just meh. So people thought they were kind of beefing and that they weren't on good terms. But then on April 16th of 2020, Uzi and Cardi both tweeted Monday within five minutes of each other. So people thought that 
maybe this was going to be 16-29, and maybe they were kind of just trolling the fans to make them believe that they weren't on good terms to just drop the collab album afterwards. But what ended up happening was that, you know, nothing really ended up coming out on that Monday. But, you know, moving on now to April 25th of 2020, they actually reunited together. And it was interesting because Cardi tweeted, I love you, twin, at Uzi. And Uzi replied, you already know, Cardi, I love you back. And then on August 23rd of last year in 2021, Uzi brought back the anticipation by tweeting 1629. And then in September of 2021, Cardi was teasing his Narcissist album. And then Uzi and Cardi were spotted together wearing these Narcissist bomber jackets in New York City. So when you were seeing them kind of reuniting, what did that feel like for you? And did you think, okay, now my hope is reinstilled? It was reinstilled because there was this sort of limbo area within their collaboration process that you didn't hear any updates or you didn't really see anything. And most of the meat actually came from that April month in 2020 when there was the whole you know hype and anticipation for a whole lot of red. People were so convinced that whole lot of red was dropping in April of 2020 or something. You know, you only ended up getting a single, but regardless, it was still fun to go through that whole motion. But to think that the only time you really hear about this again was a year later is pretty crazy to me because now I'm in this boat where is this going to be the same situation? Are we going to have to wait a year until we finally get something out of it? But luckily we ended up getting some sort of a word because um, this month in February of 2022, um, Uzi ended up going on Aiden Ross's stream and says that, you know, they have, you know, they have the album together. They have 1629 and they want to put it out. And apparently they have 40 songs together and no one's heard them. So apparently they're not worried about leaks. And most of the sessions were done in London and a bit in New York City. So does this get your hype back up? Yeah, it definitely has my hype up because I mean, what happened was Aiden, I asked him, you know, if there's one collab album you'd want to drop what would it be and Uzi right away said 1629 no hesitation he said how much he respects Cardi how much he thinks he's a pioneer so that was really dope to see and you know he's not confirming the album's dropping he's not saying that the album is finished but he is saying that they have more than enough songs to be able to kind of sort out and place into a nice track list to release for the fans so that kind of gave me hope but now that brings up the question when is 1629 gonna come out bro because it's been five fucking years since it's been teased and there hasn't really been an official single. There hasn't been any confirmation and they both have solo projects that they're both pushing right now because Playboy Cardi started off his rollout for Narcissist last year. Uzi did the same by dropping a single and by teasing um, the, pink tape. the pink tape. So do you think that they put out these projects this year and maybe revisit the idea of 1629 in 2023 like what's your kind of take on all, all this? right so guys we actually asked our patreon members like you know how would they feel about this situation so we asked them would you want to hear 1629 by cardi and uzi in 2022 so the three options were yes no and then the last one was i'll take solo albums from lil uzi and playboy cardi instead so this is what's interesting 41 percent of people said yes obviously everyone's gonna want the collab album four people said no and then after that i'll take a solo album from lil uzi vert and playboy cardi instead so you got a lot of people. What was the percentage saying, for that one? Bro, it was like 50-50 now because you have four you have four people saying no and you have 16 people saying that I'd rather have the solo albums and then you have 41 people saying, mm. yes, I'd like it. So it's like a, a 51% to 49. So that's what I find interesting is, is anyone down for this? You know, I think I'm down for it, but does it make sense for their careers right now? Because I also feel like Playboy Cardi is treading on such a high line right now and he's going towards this sort of legendary area for becoming a pioneer within trap right now because you see how many people are trying to bite his aesthetic off a whole lot of red. He's still super prominent. People are super down for his music. But is that the same situation with Uzi? Because, listen, Demon High came out and the reception was kind of mixed on it. Came so and went. Do you think that the collaboration album now would even make sense from, let's say, a music standpoint? I think it would make sense just because when you look at Cardi and Uzi and their roles that they've played in modern hip-hop, especially for people that came up in those classes of, let's say, 2016 and 2017, there is no duo in modern-day hip-hop in terms of newer artists that would make a collab album as good as them because give me whatever you know modern duo you want. Give me Lil Baby and Lil Dirk. Give me Polo G and Lil TJ. 
they're not making a collab album as good and as concise as 1629 would be, in my opinion, just because of how unique they Do you are. Do think it would be better than chemistry, Without Warning? Bro. Without Warning. Without Warning set up the bar really high for trap collab albums. Because so, that, that's, a, that's a full-blown... Listen, Metro Boomin, you could call it a trio album because Metro Boomin took care of the whole production, but it's still a full-blown rap album between 21 Savage and Offset, um, a, a duo I actually never knew I needed until I actually got Without Warning, and then... You end up having, you know, Huncho Jack, Jack Honcho. So do you think they passed that project? Because that's a really strong they project could, as well. They could, but the thing is that I feel like if this was done in 2018, they had a higher chance of doing that just because I feel like they had more, like, complimentary sounds back then because if you look at Playboy Cardi now in the whole lot of Red era, he's more on his punk rock wave and he doesn't really have, I would say, as much in common sonically with Uzi like he did back then, but... I could see their two worlds colliding now because if Uzi comes in with the emo vibes and Cardi's on the punk wave, it could work. That could work, bro. Absolutely. But do you do you agree with that? That like Cardi, like pre whole lot of red era, would have sounded better with Uzi. On Absolutely. Tape? Cash yeah. Cardi would have sounded much better with prime time Uzi. I know, and then I know. That's when you have to start asking the questions, right? Who would have outshined who? And I definitely think at that time, when you're talking about prime time Uzi, there was very few people that were touching. You think he him. would have outshined them? I think so. Now I, I don't think know, now bro. I think Cardi outshines him, but I think back then there's probably a good chance that I feel as if Uzi I don't think he outshines him. I think that he has a better performance, but I think the chemistry would have still been inevitable. The the only way I see this happening, all right, is if you end up getting producers like Molly Raw, Don Cannon, Pierre Bourne, Metro Boomin. You, you know, you have to really assemble a star sided cast of producers you, you need that I've worked with. And you need them, Cardi's you know? beat selection. In my okay, opinion, over Uzi's. Bro, you need Playboy Cardi's beat selection. What he chose for a whole lot of red could have been tackled by so many different artists. And honestly, I didn't like Uzi's beats on Eternal to Take all that much. Didn't like his choice on Demon High. But I mean, going back to what you said of like Uzi maybe, you know, out, out uh, performing Cardi. I don't know how I feel about it, just because they make up for certain characteristics where the other artist lacks. Like, Uzi's gonna, Uzi's gonna bring the melodies, Cardi's gonna bring the ad libs. Uzi's gonna have that higher pitch sound, and Cardi could tap into a more aggressive sound in terms of his vocal inflection. So I feel like, you know, vocally, they just, they're very different, but that difference is what's gonna make um, something sound so unique. And like I was saying earlier, bro, I don't think anybody could really emulate their styles because. In today's day and age, you have a lot of people that try to imitate Cardi and Uzi, but no one really pulls it off. So we'll have to see what ends up happening. I think that it'll be one of the better collab albums to come out. But final question before we wrap this up. Do you think this is coming out in 2022? And if not, when do you see it dropping, if ever? No, okay, listen, I don't think this is coming out ever. Um, <laughs> this is very unreliable, especially like it just came from a stream. But um, looking at the timeline, it's developed. I mean, there is there is indications that this has been worked on. We yeah. have confirmation from Uzi and Playboy Cardi. There was a whole tour. There was a single. There's, you know, leaks. There's so much stuff that indicates that this could be possibly a collab album. I just think that they're in completely different areas of their career, and I don't think it'll I happen. I see it happening, bro. After, but, uh, listen, after Cardi brought out Uzi and they were hugging on stage or rolling loud, that meant something, bro. bro. That was Cardi a moment. Ha Playboy Cardi has trouble dropping solo projects. I don't think but he's going to be dropping I'll duo I'll be fucking project. pissed because they have technically 140 fucking songs recorded together. They're not if I don't get one, one or two, no, they're not if I don't one. get a couple of songs out of this, I'll be mad and I don't care what label drama gets involved. I need at least a couple of these collab songs to drop and... Final wish for this album, it has to be like 10 songs, bro, because there's no, That's another there's thing, no bro. duos <laughs> that can carry 20 song track list, bro. I'm You're sorry. getting a 20 song track no, list. No, no, no. It's got to be 10 songs. It's not gonna be that without song. warning slash what a time to be a live format, we need that for you this album. You have a better chance of winning the fucking lottery than getting a 10 song track <laughs> but list. But guys, That's anyways, <laughs> listen, let us know how you feel about this in the comments. I personally think that this would be SoundCloud's Holy Grail album for collab projects, but let us know. Do you think this is going to drop? And do you even want want 1629 at this point and of course once this album does drop if it ever does drop we will be covering a review for it and doing so much more content so, so to stay connected with the entire rollout make sure to hit that subscribe button smash the like button as well and we'll catch you guys on the next one thank you so much for watching thanks for watching the full video and if you're new to nfr be sure to hit that subscribe button as we'll be keeping you guys updated with the latest album releases in terms of update videos album reviews and our own original series is on the weekly and we also have our patreon plan available in the description below where you can access weekly bonus content and also access to our discord so be sure to check out all of that and we'll catch you in the next one